Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. We talked many times on the show about Key West being viewed as the end of the road. But for my first guest this morning, Sue Cooper, it was definitely the start of a brand new life. Now, she left her career in marketing and advertising just to follow her dream of living on an island. She eventually started a kayak tour and rental business, even even wrote a book entitled Millionaire in Flip-Flops. Sue is a prime example of what it means to follow your heart and live out your passion. Sue, thank you so much for being here oh, today. Thank you for having me. This is wonderful. <laughs> All right, Sue, did people tell you that you were crazy? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, the top of the list being my parents. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I had a, a great stable job and uh, benefits, you know, the whole nine yards, um, a career that could probably have lasted me, you know, f until retirement. And, uh, and just one day I, I thought that uh, I didn't want to be waiting anymore for retirement and I was going to live my dream which was uh, living on an island, having my own business, because um, I've always loved business. I, don't want, I didn't want to just come to an island and you know, kick my feet up. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to, to run a small business, and I wanted to have a dog that could come with me everywhere. So um, now my parents, now that they, they've come down, they've seen the book, <laughs> they've read the book, um, they've met my friends. I mean, Key West is such a wonderful community. Um, how can you not love it? Um, and uh, they are... They, they think it was the best decision I ever made. But. Awesome. Well, and I'm sure that it, it probably was one of the best decisions. And, yeah. and Sue, like, what was the point, though, in your life to just throw all of that away? Quite honestly, when I look back, um, I, can't, I can't believe that I, that I did this. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was the best decision I ever made, but uh, I did really like my job. I liked the people that I worked with. It was challenging. There were a few things I didn't like about the job, which... Um, came from the top. There were some corporate things that, that didn't really fit well with me. And through my entire life, there's always been, I've always been very happy and like what I do, but there was always a little something missing. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it was just a, a, a different, more, um, less corporate business uh, plan that, that I wanted to work in and I wanted to build. I wanted to create a place that I wanted to come to work um, uh, every day and I wanted the people that worked for me to come you know they'd want to come to work mm -hmm. and uh, I think that I've done that with with my company Lazy Dog and um, and I really uh, I wanted to share that uh, Lazy Dog is a big part of my life and the way I what I do every day um, and and that was part of writing the book I wanted mm -hmm. to share that with people because um, it's it's uh, I, I made people all over the world from whether I'm traveling or whether people come down here and they love my lifestyle mm -hmm. and that's what they want they're not asking me how much money I make or what kind of car I drive but what they want is my lifestyle mm -hmm. and so uh, I have it in the book it's basically you know this is the millionaire in, li in life in uh, flip-flops lifestyle it's it's doing what you love every single day and living mm -hmm. like a millionaire mm -hmm. which in Key West as you know a lot of people do live like millionaires mm -hmm. down here we go out lobstering off mm -hmm. our paddle boards and fishing out in the reef, snorkeling out of the reef. I mean, we live a wonderful life down here where a lot of people just save their money for two weeks a year to come down and, and do that, and we get to do it every day. So. Right, right. We're definitely blessed down here. Now, the store name, Lazy Dog, is it kind mm -hmm. of then a lifestyle, a laid-back lifestyle? Yeah, I, uh, when people ask me what it is, that's like the hardest question. It has been for 15 years that we've been in business. When people ask me, what is Lazy Dog? It is a tour and rental kayak and paddleboard company, and we have our own brand, but it's so much more than that for me. It's, it's my lifestyle. It's the lifestyle of my employees. Um, it's doing what you love. Um, our motto is uh, find your passion and make it your life's work, and that's really, again, the millionaire and flip-flops lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's, it's uh, a wonderful place. I love going to work every day still, so mm -hmm. I feel like I'm doing... I'm doing it right because I do, that's, uh, that's where I want to be. Absolutely. And you know what else you're doing, Sue, is you are inspiring others to really follow their heart mm -hmm. and, and live out their passion. And I know your book, it's really all about that. Tell us a little bit more about Millionaire and Flip Flops. Well, in the book, I try and, and uh, ex explain to people that it's okay to break out of the mainstream. It's very hard to do to, to kind of go off on your own path. It's a lot easier to, to follow 
the way everybody's doing it. You go to college, out of college you get a job, and then you work until you you know retire when you're when you're 50 or so. So this is about um, really just doing you know what you want now and create your own life. Okay, mm -hmm. if it doesn't exist, then create it. Mm -hmm. And so within the book, I have a lot of action plans um, and um, just sort of ideas to get people to move a little bit and think about their own life. So, you know, the, the book has my stories, but I try and relate it so that the, the reader can say, okay, well, what if I did this and what if I did that and, you know, and then I did this and, and, um, and they're just, just different ways to look at things. Mm -hmm. um, life is full of ups and downs, so don't get me wrong, the millionaire and flip-flops is not all like happy um, life, life will throw it to you when you least expect it. It's, uh, you never know what to expect. So um, it's more of an attitude and, mm -hmm. and how you look at things. And even when things aren't, aren't working for you, learn what you can. Learn, learn out of the negative as well and, uh, and take it and apply it. So I think the, the response I have, have received back from the book, um, people are realizing I'm just an average girl. I just wrote a book. I've been through you know, some ups and downs and I share them. Um, feel very vulnerable in sharing <laughs> them because they're not all good. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like I had something to say and I could make a difference and uh, the response has been amazing. Awesome. Well, you definitely did make a difference and, and I think it's great, Sue, because we were even talking earlier too that it, it's all about taking that first step, right? Yes. Getting out of your little mm -hmm. comfort zone, getting out of that little box, taking that first step and then look what can happen. It is, it's the hardest step to take and I hope with the book people will realize that it's okay, you know, mm -hmm. because if you, even if you fail in, in wh where you want to go and taking that first step, uh, other things come out, come out of it, and you never know. Um, there are things that have happened to me, you can plan all you want, but mm -hmm. if you just stay open to, uh, to life and the beauty of it all, everything just kind of comes and goes, and you, things come at you that you never expect. Mm -hmm. and, um, or even don't know about mm -hmm. um, wonderful things and it can take you on a, even a completely different path than you originally planned and a good path. Absolutely. So. Well I can't wait to pick up my copy of Millionaire <laughs> and Flip Flops and I know it's available still for people to purchase. Yes, we have it at Lazy Dog and we have it uh, on Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. um, the book that I did, uh, well, the way I like to write is, is really the way I like to read which is a lot of um, you know, personal stories and action plans and I like to read a lot about business. And um, so my original Millionaire Flip Flops had a lot of business related um, stories in there and then I realized some people don't like business. So I, mm -hmm. this is actually the Lifestyle Edition and the Business Edition is going to come out in early 2014. Great. Um, and that's going to be the ins and outs of, of Lazy Dog. Wonderful. I look forward <laughs> to reading that as well. Thank Sue, you. thank you so much for coming on. And, and again, I think you're, you're an inspiration. So. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's <laughs> wonderful. All right. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.